and doing heaps of research and checking it out and and literally we, we just haven't been like our job was to try and find okay this must be too good to be true we can probably punch some holes in this what's and literally we're still trying to find the holes so we, we're still trying to find something that's you know I've, got, I've given up trying yeah well <laughs> Amy's given up but um yeah so look uh, I guess that's our story with regards to how we got onto the product and you know what we we've implemented it in our business ever since and we've you know we, we've kind of just I guess with our presentation today is uh, it's been a really simple process for us I mean there's been a lot of learning along the way um, but it's been a, a simple process of just I guess um, sharing our story and sharing the product and especially letting our clients know um, and, and, and showing them the research and then just, I guess um, uh, duplicating what? the system, you know, is, 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 is then training our team and helping our team members to do the same. So, look, wow. I guess that's a bit of background stuff on, on us, but look, let's get into this, how we've kind of kept it simple. So, Look, do not throw, please. Okay, are we ready? I, I guess when we first started... Uh, I, I, I Let's talk about that mic on. Are we going which way this way? Yeah. Um, okay. I think someone's got their mic on, Joss. All right, now it's good. Go. Um, so when we started taking the product, uh, or when we... Actually, after I've done... I spent like three months researching it before we told anyone about it because for me, people trust us with their health. They come to us, you know, when they're pregnant, when they're breastfeeding and all this sort of stuff and they trust me with their health. I'm not about to tell them to go. I mean, the other stuff that people sent us, we definitely, definitely could have made a lot of money. One of the people that introduced us is now making 2 million profit a year from one of those companies. So for us, you know, it was more about a moral. A moral it's, it's not about the money for us. We literally want to help people transform their lives. So I guess I'd spent three months looking into this product and I knew a lot about it. So when I first started telling people about it, I was like, <laughs> and people were just like, oh my God, oh my God. And, and they weren't sort of listening. So I She guess would vomit on them. She would verbally vomit. Uh, which kind of freaked out some people. It freaks them away. They're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> so, um, you know, now our whole thing, our whole motto is about keeping it simple and we tell our team about keeping it simple, but it hasn't always been that way for us. I learnt the hard way because um, I guess with me being a health coach and being so into nutrition, I it's easy to assume that what you think is important about the product that somebody else will think that that's important as well. But so for me, I think everything's important. So at the beginning, I thought everybody needed to know that everything was important. And they needed to know it right now. That That's not the best approach is what we've learned. <laughs> um, so... I guess when we talk about keeping it simple and, you know, you hear it all the time, listen to people, find their problem, find their pain and, and offer what could be a simple, what could be a simple solution. And sometimes I think it can be a lot easier said than done, especially when, um, I mean, you guys all know we're all extremely passionate about the product. We all believe that everybody needs to be taking the product yesterday. Um, but I think for me, one of the biggest lessons that I learned was if it's that important to me that they're taking the product, then I need to work with them the way that they need to be worked with. And although I might think that it's important that they know everything, what is their goal? What is the outcome? For me, it's for them to have Juice Plus in their bodies. So I need to do whatever it is that I need to do to help that happen. And so for me, that's to shut up and just let them talk and just to offer something really, really simple. And the, the most simple way that I found of doing that is the Juice Plus testimonials page is the greatest tool that you can possibly have in this business. Um, it's real people talking about real results that have happened to them all around the world. And so the greatest tool that I've had to keep it really, really simple is I step back from letting people know that I know everything about the product. I mean, I don't know everything about the product, but, you know, people ask me about the product and, and I, even sometimes if I do know the answer, I will, 
I will say I'm not really sure, but I'll add you to a group because what that does is it doesn't make me the expert anymore because I think it's easy for people to assume that it's easy for Dal and I in the position that we're in with our business and with our clients. Um, so I like to step back from making us the experts and just add them into, into that group, into that Juice Plus testimonials page because that's not just the people on the product, that's mm -hmm. the potential customers as well. And let them have a look at the thousands and thousands of other people that are doing it and kind of get peer validation that it's, you know, this is a real thing and it's happening to real people just like them, not just people in the health industry. And then they can relate. They can relate to people who, um, who have had, uh, who have overcome uh, obstacles or challenges that they're facing in their life right now. So it might be, um, you know, a, a parent, a mother of three who's finding it hard to get her kids to eat vegetables or whatever. There might be a perfect little testimonial on that page where that you know, there is a mother of three and she introduced Juice Plus with the chews and it was a great way to get her kids, you know, getting nutritious food in their body. And so sometimes keeping it simple might be realising as well that, you might not be the person that's able to really convince that person about Juice Plus, but you can introduce them to someone that might be able to. So I was introduced to Juice Plus by Lauren. I'm obsessed with nutrition. Lauren clearly is obsessed with nutrition. So it worked really well. But I've got other clients and other customers that are not that way inclined, but it made more sense to me for me to add them to a group and tag them in a post or show them someone that's similar to them so I've still, they've still got the product in their body. My outcome has still been achieved. They're still getting the product in their body, which is what I wanted. But I've just gone through a more simple route than me trying to have to explain why they need the product in their body. Because some yeah. people just don't care. They just want to know it's going to give me more energy, whatever, I'll take it. Mm. And it's that simple for them. Yeah, and the main point that, because uh, you know, uh, I, I regularly catch up with Joss, the main point is that um, you can kind of tailor um, tailor the information dependent on who you're speaking with. Again, if uh, dependent on what their challenges or what their problem is, because Joss has done. I think we've done a call um, where his his friend was a PT, and so he he was like, "Hey man, I got Dale. He's in Australia. He's a PT. I'm going to get him on the call, and um, you guys can chat." And so he automatically it's there's a relation there. We're relatable. It's simple to speak your own language. So get them connected to someone that speaks their language. Yeah, cool. So, look, that's, it. I guess, our, our uh, first point there. The other thing is um, um, just having conversations, right? Having conversations is a big part of sharing this message or, or getting Juice Plus out there. And a really good distinction, I can't remember who I was listening to the other day, but they said that the, object, the objective is not to sell Juice Plus, it's to share it. It's to share Juice Plus. You know, so many of our newbie team members will come on and say, I'm having trouble selling the product. And say, hey, hey, relax. Don't we don't sell. It's, it's sharing the product. You know, so we want to keep it simple like that. It shouldn't be complicated. And having conversations with people is a great way to do that. Because guess what? People do business with people they like and they, and they trust. That is, a, that is a massive thing. So I've, I've told our, um, our team members to literally use Facebook as a great way to start conversations. So if someone posts on Facebook that, oh, I'm so tired, I'm sick, da-da-da-da-da, it might be like a great opportunity to jump on and say, hey, I, I see you've been sick or how's everything going? You know, like what are you taking? What are you doing to help yourself get better? And just starting a conversation. It's the same thing when you post something on your, let's say, on your wall, because I know that's working for a lot of people these days, the social media aspect. If someone comments on something, it's a great way. It's already an icebreaker to have a conversation in a private message with that person. So instead of, you know, I think the thing that gets me or used to get me is when people would just like contact me cold and it was just like, well, hang on, why the hell are you contacting me? Whereas if someone's contacted you or written a message or commented on a post or you've seen a post on Facebook, it already breaks the ice. You already have something to talk about. 
And I think the, 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 the biggest lesson for our team members is just to genuinely be interested in people. Be interested in people. Find out what they're doing. Find out what their kids are up to. You know, find out, you know, where they're holidaying. Trust me, if you can start to build a relationship with people and then they start to build, you start to build that rapport, they'll tell you about their problems and then you can say, hey, you know what, I'm taking this. It works for me or a friend of mine or there's been heaps of cases like Amy was talking about in the testimonial pay to add them in there and say, hey, this works for me. It might work for you. How about, why don't you check it out? And most people majority of people are inclined to go, okay, cool, I'll check it out. And then once they find out about the product, well, most of the time, look, people are willing to give it a go anyway. Most people are willing to give it a go. So that's, you know, what's worked really well for us. Um, did you want to talk about that? Which one do you want to? So having weekly meetings. Ah, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Um, one of the other things that we do that just keeps it, we keep it really simple. We have a weekly meeting with our team uh, every Wednesday night and we we learned early on that we have to set up a schedule for that which to keep it simple because otherwise we go around and around and around and it can turn into a five-hour girls' night with, <laughs> with a couple yes. of boys sitting in the corner going, what the yes, hell happened yes. to my life? Um, <laughs> so, look, if you're not doing, like, weekly meetings with your team, that's something you, I, we strongly recommend that you do. You know, like, you, you only have to look at, um, I mean, I know a lot of you have probably heard about Adam Westwick. He's probably on the call now. He's, um, he's unbelievable. He's, like, the, he's the fastest person in Australia, and I believe what I call him, I'm not doing his team. One of. He's, he's brilliant. And the big thing he does is he keeps it simple as well. And he has, you know, weekly meetings every single week. It just builds the momentum. So um, one of the ways that we keep it simple is we have Dale's a timekeeper at our, at our meeting. So we go through our meeting and every single person has um, an opportunity to speak if they want to. But the opportunity, like the, the, of the time to speak is kept limited. So, um, because, I mean, this is a part-time business for majority of people and, you know, having a meeting on a Wednesday night, they've got things that they need to get back to. They've got kids, husbands, wives, jobs, washing, cooking, whatever, life. Yeah. So, um, I think we can sometimes spend forever talking about things that aren't that relevant. So, if you put a time on it, you put a time restriction, especially women, women like to talk. Um, if you put a time a timer on it and they know they've only got a set amount of time they're going to get out all the important stuff and then they might have 20 seconds on the end to add you know whatever they want to add but adding a timer to it kind of allows people to get out what needs to be get out and then you can get out of the meeting when they need to get out of the meeting yeah like generally we keep our meetings to about one hour long and, and you know like i respect people's time so we, we tend to keep to that time frame. And, and here's the thing, like, Amy's, like I, I do definitely keep the time, but I, if I believe that um, there's a lot of value that they're sharing, then obviously I don't interrupt them right there. It's not like a, a strict type thing, but you've got to go with you, your intuition with it. But we definitely um, let them know that there is a certain time to share. And I was actually reading an article um, uh, probably a couple of months ago now about a study they did on groups. I think it was at Google, on effective groups at Google and Teams. And they actually said that a combination of, um, you know, keeping time and, and make, being punctual type thing and a combination of free-flowing com conversation was the perfect match, was re like really effective, really efficient. So instead of just having like a strict type meeting type thing, all right, that wasn't as effective and uh, as opposed to the group Amy's talking about where everyone was just talking, talking and nothing kind of got done, obviously not very effective. A combination of the two is really, really effective and efficient and also making sure that every team member gets their say. We're very big on this, very big on this because... All right, like from what 
when people feel that they're respected and have a chance to have their say, it just lights them up. It really does. So, you know, and, and I think sometimes at presentations, we sit there and someone just talks the whole time, right? And it can be very, I guess, you tune out a little bit. So getting people, other people to talk is brilliant. So again, coming back to keeping it simple, keeping it simple. We let everybody share. We go through everybody's successes, no matter how small they are, okay? And we celebrate those successes, okay? And then we open the floor, um, to go through any challenges that people are facing, you know, so any um, questions they might have or they're having trouble with customers here or they're not getting over the line with certain people, then we, we talk about, you know, uh, how we can overcome that and, again, talk to them about keeping it simple and, um, and, and making it work. So... That's with regards to weekly meetings. So if you're not doing something like that, that's definitely something you, you want to do, all right? I, I've noticed a, a massive, I guess, massive momentum for us because we've done that. It's, it's a weekly thing. It's scheduled. It's, it's scheduled and it's, it's something that everybody knows they need to be at, right? Similar to these calls, okay? You get onto these calls because they're scheduled. You know what's going to happen? You've got to get on, right? Cool. What are you? What are you looking at? These two pulling faces at each other. Nice. Yeah, they, they know it too. I love it. Yeah, there she is. <laughs> yes, we see you. We see you. Nothing gets past us. Uh, cool. Um, uh, okay. Keeping things simple, like um, like I mentioned, Adam before, and we just, I guess, you know what? We 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 model. We model what's working. In Juice Plus, and, and and some of the some of the guys that uh, are achieving like massive results, we want to tap in and see what they're doing, right? And how can we model that um, for our success? So a big part of our business was was modeling um, Adam's business. You know, um, it was fantastic just to see that hey, he had the team meetings, he was on social media, um, and he was big on training his team members and duplicating the process. So that's something that that we definitely wanted to do, and we've spent a lot of time, you know, with our upline, I guess, with Joss and Lauren, and, and chatting with them and talking with them. It's such an important part of this process is. Um, leaning or contacting or, um, I guess, having um, having your upline help you. Because they've been in it longer than you and they know what they're doing, I guess. Um, one of the other ways that we keep things simple with using our up upline as well is um, just recently I was at Most Powerful Women in Network Marketing in Vegas and one of the biggest things that stuck with me was uh, one of the speakers said, the most successful people in the world spend as much time doing what only they can do and as little time doing what anybody else can do. So for us personally in our team, when it comes to product knowledge, everyone knows I'm the person to go to. So if they've got a question on product knowledge, come to me. I, I can answer it faster than you. I'll, I'll, you don't have to spend your time researching it. Don't waste your time. Go to the person that knows it. When it comes to the compensation plan, don't ask me. You know what I mean? I, like, I'll be completely honest. I, um, the compensation plan I'm not the best at, whereas we've got a lady in our group, Kathy, who knows it much better than I do. So go to her. You know, you'll have people in your team that know things about the product, about the business, about the company that you don't know, you don't need to know it all. You don't need to spend. And that was a big thing for me as well. I thought I needed to know everything about the product, everything about the business, everything about network marketing. And, you know, it'd be 10 years before I started the business before I had all that knowledge. That can also be overwhelming for new people starting out as well. So they don't, they don't need to know everything. You don't need to know everything. You'll have people in your, group, in your group and in your team who naturally gravitate towards certain parts of the business, of the product, of whatever, the opportunity. Just know who they are and, and work together as a team. They can be your upline, your side, downline, sideline, whatever line. Just know who those people are and work with them. Yeah, look, a big, a big part of what works for us, and, and again, keeping it simple, is that I call Amy the social butterfly because she's fantastic at... Um, meeting people and building rapport and making connections and um, just getting people excited about the product 
Whereas my strengths are with um, speaking and following up and, and organizing the team and taking the team meetings. So we complement each other like really, really well. Work together. And it works. It works. I guess the only word to put it, it works so simply. It works beautifully. It's like poetry, right? So she kind of goes out there. <laughs> she kind of goes out there. Yes, I'm a little bit dry. She goes out there and kind of um, her social butterfly gets them in and then uh, I kind of keep on to it, keep on top of it, make sure the team's going well. I hook them, you hook them. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's it. So, yeah, look, it works. And, again, we, it, it's all about keeping it simple for us. We, we, we really try not to overcomplicate things. Yeah, so if there's, someone, if there's someone in your team that you think, oh, my God, they know so much about, let's just say, oh, my God, they know so much about the product, I'll never be like them, blah, blah, blah. You don't have to be like them. Be friends with them. Use them. They, they, if they love, like, I can tell you, I love, the, I love telling people about the product. So uh, Dale loves doing what I can't. Not that I can't stand it. I don't. I prefer not to do that. So the people that you know can do the things that you can't do and are doing it really well, it's probably because that's what they're naturally gravitated towards in the business, and that's what they enjoy doing. So let them do it, and then one day you'll be able to help them with whatever your strength is. End of the story. You got to be yourself. I think. I think so many of us, um, and this is a lesson that I just got recently. So many of us try to, you know, when we're modelling people, when we're looking at trying to be like them, I think sometimes we forget that we're our own person, and we've just got to be the best person that we can be, at the best version of ourselves. And if you can lean on your upline or sideline or team members who complement different areas, then it works really well, and you're going to be more fulfilled anyway. Because you're being authentic. You're being 100% you. Okay? One of my strengths is speaking from stage. Right? So we're running a Perth event soon um, and I'll be speaking. And I love speaking. It's just me. And I'll have all these guys in the background. They're going to be running pens out to people or signing them up at the back. So I I'm can, at the back. See, so, I, the thought of getting on stage in front of a couple of hundred I will die. I wouldn't even be able to tell you what's in the fruit cup. Like, n nothing. Done. Dead. At the back of the room, though, I can talk to anyone. So. Yeah. Anyway, our point is keep, keep that simple and be yourself. Be authentic. Be yourself. Um, at the end of the day, it, it's, you're going to be more fulfilled. And, um, and I think uh, long, long term, I mean, from my point of view i've seen a lot of people not with juice plus but with other products on facebook who just long, like they just seem really fake it's like they're telling me one thing but then when i see them or i see something else it's a completely different thing and if for me i'm just like ah oh, okay what i don't know what the what's the go there what's happening there they're not there's not they're not that being that authentic so uh da, da, da. now lastly um, again, kind of touching on what Amy was saying that use your upline sideline is utilize the training, utilize these calls, utilize head office. In Australia, head office is exceptional. They probably hate me. Brilliant, <laughs> right? I, I'm telling you, the, the, the ladies in head office are amazing. And we, we use them, we utilize them, we lean on them, we give them a call if we're struggling with something. Again, we teach our team members to do the same. Keep it simple, right? We don't have to know all that back end stuff, but we can just give them a call and they walk through it with us. Don't, like, really don't be afraid to ask for help, okay? You don't have to go it alone. So utilizing our resources has been a great way, again, of, um, you know, building that momentum with our business. So, and... I guess, and I guess like the, the main thing really would be find who you are and who you want to be and who you want to turn up as and show up as in your Juice Plus business. Like who do you, what part of it do you, like resonates most with you and sort of stick with that and then use the people around you who, you know, use and use them together you don't have to be the expert on everything. Like, just keep it simple. I mean, I don't have time. I don't have time to be the expert on everything. No one has time to be the expert on everything. You don't even have to be the expert on what it is you're most passionate about. <laughs> just know the people that are. Yeah, look, uh, and, and just on that, um, Kathy, 
who's um, very successful in our business, a team member of ours, you know, she's, by just being herself, she's a mum of, she has two kids, and she's, like, attracted heaps of mums, exactly like her, to the business. So, you know, I probably never would have been able to do that. Or Not that I never would have been. I would only use that language. But I, she's more inclined to attract those people in the Juice Plus than I am. So um, it's been, you know, and whenever we've done, like, uh, markets or stalls where lots of families go, we send Kathy out there, you know, because she's, she's exceptional at what she does. She's amazing, you know, and the kids are running around and she's more relatable to people. So, look, we, we like... I guess with this whole presentation, we didn't want to complicate it. We wanted to give you some some simple kind of steps on what you can do to really build momentum in your business. And I guess it's always good for a different point of view, you know, as, as I can't remember exactly what Bruce Lee said, but he said, take what works and leave the stuff that doesn't work. All right. So uh, now are there any, do you want to say anything else? Anyone have any questions? Nice. Let's keep let's keep keep it simple. Yeah. Let's let's hear some questions. Anyone questions? Comments. Comments. Insights. Breakthroughs. I got a bunch of. Oh, you got a hand up in the corner here. Well, maybe not your corner, but up there. I think it's uh. Okay. My muted or not? No, you're good now. You're good. Okay. Hey. Hey, guys. Hey. I mean. I don't know what it is in Australia, but every time I meet someone from Team YOLO in Australia, it's just like I want to be them. So on that, on that note, thank you guys. I mean, I worship you. I, I guess they keep you all over there for quality control. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I'm from Puerto Rico, so I know about quality control. Anyway, that's it. You know, what I do, what I do love. Uh, and I think that I, I've, di I've been discovering um, recently is that the key to all this is to be authentic. And I think that, that be authentic and by so doing, uh, allow yourself to be duplicatable. So you mentioned about not being the expert. And I've been trying for a long time to be the expert, to know all the answers. And not only to know all the answers, but to pretend like I know all the answers. And what I found is the moment that I said, you know what, here's a video that explains it. You know what, talk to this person. He's just like you and he had blah, 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 blah. You know what, when I started referring, when I started getting out of the way and referring a third person or a third whatever it was, it actually gave them the space to, to do what they needed to do. And, and of course, this might seem like a segue, but when I came out to my dad, Everyone laughed. When I came out to my dad, it was very important for me to allow him the space to go through whatever he was. And because of that, I was able to honor wherever he was. And I was able to actually allow him to go through that process. And I think that, that I'm not equating Deuce Plus to coming out. But uh, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes it seems like I'm asking someone to go gay. Uh, but anyway, that's their deal. Um, but <laughs> my God, um, but it's just fruits and vegetables and castle, right? So, uh, but, but it is, it is, a, you know, for some people, it is a big paradigm shift for them to go from, especially in business, um, for them to go, uh, from being an employee to being an entrepreneur. And it is like basically jumping into the void. And it is important. The moments, the, the people that have been so that, maybe have taken longer than I wanted them to take, but took their time, suddenly became self-propelled rather than being cadavers that I'm dragging across the street. So I thought that it was very valuable for you guys, for both of you to, um, to point out in, in different ways that that, you know, authentic, authenticity. And I think that that's also what I really love about uh, the Australian team. Not to say that the rest is fake here in the U S but, but it's really, there's a lot of, there's an energy that, that is very common. There's a common thread energy, I guess, that I found with, within you guys. And I think that Australians, as a culture, are very uh, authentic in the way that they joke and the way that they disarm people. So that was my insight. We appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs>
<laughs> so actually, I do have a question. If no one wants to jump in for the questions, as far as um, as far as trainers go, um, here in in California, and this is an insight I got also recently, which is that everyone wants to be healthy, but what healthy means, what what they mean by healthy is looking good. Not they want to really- be. It, they don't want to be healthy. They don't give a shit what it takes. They just want the abs. They, they just want to look cool. They want to have a 31 inch and blah, 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 right? Uh, instead, of, instead of having the same thing, but have it, have it be sustainable. So how do you <laughs> give them, honor the, where they are and give them the space? Like, if, Have you tackled that kind of mentality in Australia? I'm sure that it's worldwide, but... Uh, how did yeah. you how did you encounter the experts and the ones that told you uh yeah one of those things and then not while not being pushy while not being like because well, I've been gripping but well, it feels like well I mean I think it helps that we were approached by other companies first because it made us have more of an understanding of what it's like to be approached so um, for some of those people I've just said to them look understand where you're at we we got sent seven kits worth seven hundred dollars to our house you know for me it's not about money for me it's about getting results for my clients what i would say to them is if i get results for my clients my clients are going to keep coming back and before juice plus i was telling them to take certain things anyway but i wasn't making any money on that now what i'm telling them to take is getting better results for them and i'm making some money back on it so i mean it's not rocket science do you tell your clients to eat fruits and vegetables? Because if you don't, then you're not a very good trainer anyway. And <laughs> don't say that, by the way. Don't say that. But yeah, <laughs> let's be honest. Um, I was I was on that bandwagon right there. It's like, yeah, I can tell them. <laughs> um, and, oh and, god. And if you do, then how many serves do you think that they're really having? You're not holding their hands twenty four hours a day, seven days a week. This is sort of something that you can do to ensure that they're recovering faster. I mean, if they're if you're a personal trainer, you know what exercise does and you know how wonderful it is, but you know that it also creates stress in the body and you know that for the body to be able to adapt better to training, it needs to be able to heal faster so that you can stress it out again faster. I mean, if you want the results, right? That's what you want to do. You want to stress, heal, stress, heal. So if you want results, heal faster, take something that's been scientifically proven to heal faster, it's not rocket science. Mm. And I think, and just adding on that, I think. And then I also just say to them, um, and there are Olympic teams, there are European Olympic teams that make all of their Olympians take it. So that makes sense. And then I, uh, we have a couple here in Australia who are like the hottest, fittest couple ever. And so I'll just, um, they've got aside, a face. Aside from you guys, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so I just, um, I'll, I'll share, they've got a Facebook page and I'll share that with them. So, and they're doing it completely vegan and on juice plus. So, and then another great one is desert runners. So, yeah, and, and, and I guess the, the, the thing that I wanted to add, it will add was, um, I guess I, this is a lesson I learned probably six months ago is, uh, if, if you're having to chase people down, don't worry about then it. you know what? Maybe just next, move on, move on. But here, here's the distinction I want to give you, though, because someone on our team did this the other day, and I was like, no, 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 no don't do that. She's like, oh, they didn't want to take it because they're, they're, they're idiots. idiots. They're idiots, man. And they just, like, completely wrote them off. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, I agree this. with you. <laughs> yeah, so the key is it might not be for them right now. So it's just like... It's like, okay, respect their decision. That's fantastic, all right? It's like almost like park, park it, put them on the back burner there and move on and keep helping people, right? It's, it may be because they need to see other trainers who are taking the product and getting amazing results from it and then they chase you down and say, actually, hey, you know what? I do want to check that out. Um, you know, we've had this happen to us. We've had people literally... Late, like lately in the last two weeks, a lot of people that we like went to uni with and stuff who at first were like, eh, you sold out to network marketing. In the last two weeks, they're like, what is it? What are you doing? Yeah, what, what, what are you, so what are you guys doing? Seriously, what are yeah, you guys doing? Seriously, what is this? Are you making any money? Like, what is this? So, 
I guess, to sum that up, maybe find where their pain points are. Maybe they're completely happy already. I, I don't know. Find where their pain points are. You know, are they recommending supplements and they're pushing people down the road and so the supplement place down the road or whatever is pocketing all that extra money? I mean, that's what we were doing. We, we were, and it's all we ever knew, but we were saying, hey, go down to this person. And give them and, all your money. And give them all your money, essentially. And we found a better product, a better whole food, you know, uh, whole food to, to give them. And it's getting better results, it's better quality, and we can put that money back in our pocket. Another sneaky thing, but sneaky the way Facebook works, the more that you're commenting on someone's uh, uh, post and liking their post, the more it's going to make you and your comments and your post appear in their news feed. Uh, so, if you start liking a bunch of their stuff and commenting, like just say you found something that you'd really want them to see, but you don't want to really like, make it obvious that you want them to see it, you can start commenting, they'll post something, oh, that's awesome, blah, 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 whatever, for like two or three days, and then post something on your own wall and it will appear in their newsfeed. Whether they like it or comment on it, they've seen it. Just so you know. Oh, that's, yeah. That's, yeah, Facebook's really cool like that. But th th does, that, does that help? Um, absolutely, absolutely helps. Absolutely helps. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for the question, brilliant question. And is your name Andre, Andreas? It's undre undress, like take your undress. clothing off. Okay, undress. Hey, thanks for the question. We appreciate it. And thank you, that's Terry, the, by that's the way. the Anglo version. In Spanish, it's Andres, but, you know, we're not going to go have a Spanish lesson here. <laughs> thank you for your question. Any, uh, any other takers? Nope. No, look, this... Couple of serious faces. This frozen screens, my thing. Frozen screen. There you go. I got a small one. I got a small one here. Yes. So go for it. Oh, I was just saying thank you for the call. It was great. Ah. Not a problem. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for jumping on. We re we really appreciate it. I mean, we mean that. We really appreciate it. You know. Thank you for jumping on. Just. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Very nice. Just you want to tell it. Go All right, Josh. Thanks, everybody. I appreciate everyone coming on the call. Thanks, Amy and Dale, for crushing it, as always. Um, you guys just, you know, keep it simple, keep it consistent, and do what you're going to do. Um, that's pretty much it. That's all we got. So um, figure out, you know, what those action steps are that you want to take, and then, you know, write them down and just go for it. Keep it simple. See you guys. Bye. Thanks, guys. Thanks, thanks everyone. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. It was a good call. That was awesome. Great call.